This sixth and final video in the series is about follow-up in an Environmental and Social Impact Assessment, or ESIA. In most countries, this is an official step in the ESIA procedure. It is considered essential for the effectiveness of the ESIA process. Follow-up is about how impacts are managed, monitored, evaluated and communicated to both the authority and stakeholders. Not only during the construction, but also during the operation and decommissioning phases of a project. Starting point is the project permit and the Environmental and Social Management Plan or ESMP in which the proponent has specified how to manage the impacts. In good practice situations, it is ensured in advance that responsibilities, budget and capacity are clear and fit for purpose. Once the project is approved and the construction phase has started, the proponent implements and continuously monitors the permit conditions and the ESMP. Are the measures working? The regulating authority monitors the proponent's compliance with the permit conditions and the ESMP. It has to act if the proponent does not comply or when monitoring shows that measures should be adjusted. The results are communicated by the proponent and the authority to all stakeholders. Stakeholders should be able to comment or contest the results for example, through a complaints mechanism. The project is now up and running in the most sustainable and equitable way and follow-up will continue throughout the operation and decommissioning phases. This video concludes our series on the six steps of the ESIA process. Would you like to know more? Please visit the website of the Netherlands Commission for Environmental Assessment at www.eia.nl